Section 1 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by the American Can Company. A Guide to Common Can Sizes. Number 1 Half Flat. Approximately 1 Cup. 7 and 3 quarters to 8 and 1 half ounce. Used principally for salmon. Number 8Z, tall. Approximately 1 cup, 8 ounces, 7 and 3 quarter fluid ounces. Used for some vegetables and fruits, meat and fish products, specialties. Number 300, approximately 1 and 3 quarter cup. 14 and a half ounce, 13 and a half fluid ounce. Used principally for meats and specialty items. Number one tall. Approximately two cups. One pound. Fifteen fluid ounces. Used principally for salmon, but some fruits, vegetables, and specialties. Number 303. Approximately two cups. One pound. Fifteen fluid ounces. Used for vegetables, fruits, and juices. Soups. Specialties. Number two. Approximately two and one half cups, one pound, four ounces, one pint, two fluid ounces, used principally for vegetables, fruits, and juices. Number two and a half. Approximately three and one half cups, one pound, 13 ounces, one pint, 10 fluid ounces, used mainly for fruits, also for such vegetables as spinach, tomatoes, sauerkraut, beets, and pumpkin. Number three, cylinder, approximately five and three quarter cups, 46 ounces, one quart, 14 fluid ounces, used primarily for fruit and vegetable juices. Number 10, approximately 12 cups, six pounds, nine ounces, three quarts, used for vegetables and fruits, commonly called institutional or restaurant size, and is not ordinarily available in retail stores. Your Canned Foods The Home Economics section of the American Can Company has prepared this new recipe book to help you use canned foods in a greater variety of ways. These recipes have been created in the CanCo Testing Kitchen to give you new food dishes that are colorful, easy to prepare, and high in nutritive value. Simple enough for successful preparation by beginners, they offer a challenge to the more experienced cook. The convenient index, what's in your pantry, is a successful key to your menu planning and commercially canned foods. Extensive research of the American Can Company helps the canners and packers to develop the finest canned foods. The CanCo Testing Kitchen helps homemakers use these canned foods to the best possible advantage. Menu Planning for Good Nutrition Knowledge of the facts for good nutrition without the application will reap no reward. To produce and maintain good health, daily menus should include eggs, one each day per person, or at least three to four a week. Eggs may be served plain as poached, scrambled, hard-cooked, or in an omelet. In cooking, as souffles, custards, sauces, breads or cakes, and salads. Lean meat, poultry, or fish. One or more servings daily, fresh, canned, or frozen. Different kinds of meat, poultry, and fish are necessary for variety of food value and flavor. The many canned meats, poultry, and fish available make nutritious meals quick and easy to prepare. Include occasionally on your menus liver, kidney, salmon, sardines, tuna, herring, or mackerel. Fruits. One citrus fruit or juice, or tomato juice, one other fruit, canned, fresh, or frozen. Canned juices and fruits also offer an economical variety to the menu and can be included easily and quickly to pep up appetites. Vegetables, three or more a day, canned, fresh, or frozen. One green, leafy, or yellow vegetable, one other vegetable, one potato. Canned vegetables offer the necessary variety to your menus. There is no waste to canned vegetables. The entire contents of the can should be used. It is wise to include one raw vegetable each day, especially salad greens. Cereals, breads, and flour. 
a cereal every day. At least two servings of whole grain or enriched white bread. Whole grain, restored or enriched cereals, are important in everyday meals. Use ready-to-eat or cooked for breakfast with milk and fruit, in cookies, puddings, or in meat and fish loaves. Serve cream dishes on toast. Make bread stuffings and puddings. Used in rich white flour in homemade breads, gravies, and sauces. Sweets. Use molasses, syrups, honey, jellies, jams, desserts, and candies in moderation to make the diet palatable, but not enough to spoil the appetite for other foods. Milk. One quart for each child. One pint for each adult, fresh or evaporated. Count one pint of undiluted evaporated milk, a little more than one tall can, or one quarter pound of dry milk, or one third pound of cheese, as having about the same food value as one quart of fluid milk. For variety, include milk in your cooked foods, such as soups, creamed or scalloped dishes, ice creams, custards, or other milk desserts. For variety, include cheese, buttermilk, malted and chocolate milks in your menus. Fats. Two or more tablespoons butter or vitamin-fortified margarine. Count salt pork or bacon as a fat. However, meals need not be humdrum. Make them interesting, colorful, attractive. Vary the preparation of the foods you use. Vary the manner in which you serve them. Include appealing, nutritious recipes. Your family will eat and at the same time enjoy the foods which are good for them. Choice luncheon or supper menus. For dinner menus, add an appropriate fruit or vegetable juice, fish cocktail, hors d'oeuvre, or one of the many delicious canned soups. Include milk or milk drinks as well as coffee or tea for the beverage. Menu number one. Hot tomato juice cocktail, crackers, crab meat and macaroni salad, first footnote, Asparagus spears, pear cobbler, footnote, beverage. Menu number two, sliced baked ham, glazed carrots and pineapple chunks, footnote, green beans, assorted relishes, ripe olives, celery curls, radish roses, corn sticks, beverage. Menu three, quick corned beef hash loaf, footnote, mustard sauce, whole kernel corn, Crispy coleslaw, assorted hot rolls, peaches in orange sauce, footnote, beverage. Menu number four, sliced tongue, mustard horseradish sauce, tomatoes with herbs, footnote, peas deluxe, footnote, shoestring potatoes, old-fashioned cherry shortcakes, footnote, beverage. Menu number five. Chicken noodle casserole, footnote, canned cranberry sauce, lettuce, Roquefort cheese dressing, pear mint sundae, footnote, beverage. Menu number six, broiled sardine sandwich, footnote, broiled or sliced tomatoes, spinach, pineapple cream with crunch topping, footnote, beverage. Menu number seven. Baked fruited pork loaf, footnote. Baked spiced sweet potatoes, footnote. Green bean and onion salad, footnote. Hot buttered corn muffins, beverage. Menu number eight. Chilled salmon or tuna fish with olive celery sauce, footnote. Cucumber slices, radish roses, deviled eggs, scalloped potatoes, Cherry citrus compote, footnote, brownies, beverage. Menu number nine, luncheon meat chili, footnote, breadsticks, watercress salad, French dressing with herbs, applesauce a la mode, footnote, cookies, beverage. Menu number 10, hominy and Vienna sausage au gratin, mixed green salad, rolls, Pineapple meringue pie, beverage. Footnote number one. For recipe, see What's in Your Pantry, index pages 10 and 11. Using commercially canned foods. Canned foods are delicious, just as they come from the can. Remember that canned foods are cooked foods. 
When heating commercially canned vegetables, follow these directions. Number one, drain the liquid into a saucepan. Number two, boil it quickly and reduce the amount. Number three, add the vegetable and heat quickly. Number four, season to the family's taste and serve. Instead of reducing the liquid in the can, it may be saved for soups, sauces, gravies, or vegetable cocktails. Do not throw it away as it contains valuable nutrients. Many women like to use canned foods as an ingredient of interesting recipes. The canner has done the first hard work of preparation, so it is easy to add variety to the menu with very little effort. Facts to remember about commercially canned foods. 1. Fruits and vegetables used for canning are especially grown for that purpose, picked just at the right point of maturity, sealed in cans, and cooked in the briefest possible time after harvesting. 2. Nothing is added to canned fruits except a sugar syrup, and nothing to canned vegetables except water and sometimes a little salt or sugar for seasoning. 3. The canning process does not affect the food value of the starches, sugars, fats, and proteins. The canning industry has developed many methods designed to conserve the vitamins and minerals of the fresh, raw products. Hence, modern, commercially canned foods retain in good degree the food values of the fresh foods used for canning. 4. Canned food may be safely left in the open can if it is covered and kept in a refrigerator. This you should do with leftover cooked food stored in any type of container. 5. The use of commercially canned food saves many hours of preparation of raw fruits, vegetables, fish, and meats, and also assures no waste. What's in your pantry? Vegetables. Asparagus. Asparagus on toast, page 13. Corn and asparagus casserole, page 17. Savory vegetables, page 12. Vegetable juice cocktails, page 20. Baked beans. Creamy baked beans, page 13. Beets. Beet relish salad, page 13. Chef's salad, page 23. Carrots. Glazed carrots and pineapple chunks, page 14. Corn. Casserole of tuna fish and corn, page 34. Corn a la king, page 16. Corn and asparagus casserole, page 17. Corn chowder, page 14. Hominy and Vienna sausage au gratin, page 27. Green beans, green bean and onion salad, page 16. Hot spiced green beans. Page 16. Savory vegetables. Page 12. Vegetable juice cocktails. Page 20. Hominy. Hominy and Vienna sausage au gratin. Page 27. Kidney beans. Broiled kidney bean sandwich. Page 17. Frankfurter salad bowl. Page 21. Luncheon meat chili. Page 22. Lima beans, lima bean skillet meal, page 14. Mushrooms, chicken noodle casserole, page 24. Corn a la king, page 16. Creamed mushrooms on toast, page 18. Peas deluxe, page 19. Spaghetti skillet meal, page 28. Tuna curry casserole, page 28. Creamy baked beans, page 13. Peas. Creamed peas on deviled ham toast, page 18. Creamed salmon deluxe, page 34. Peas deluxe, page 19. Peas French style, page 16. Savory vegetables, page 12. Tuna vegetable pie, page 31. Vegetable Juice Cocktails, page 20. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut with Apples, page 19. Spinach. Poached Egg on Spinach, page 12. Savory Vegetables, page 12. 
Spinach Cheese Casserole, page 18. Sweet Potatoes. Baked Spiced Sweet Potatoes, page 20. Sweet Potato and Sausage Casserole, page 25. Tomatoes. California Seafood Salad, page 31. Casserole of Tomatoes and Cabbage, page 20. Lima Bean Skillet Meal, page 14. Luncheon Meat Chili, page 22. Spaghetti Skillet Meal, page 28. Tomatoes with Herbs, page 19. Vegetable Juice Cocktails, page 20. Meat. Chicken. Chicken Noodle Casserole, page 24. Curried Chicken Soup, page 23. Spaghetti skillet meal, page 28. Corned beef hash. Hot corned beef hash sandwiches, page 22. Quick corned beef hash loaf, page 27. Deviled ham. Creamed peas on deviled ham toast, page 18. Frankfurters. Frankfurter salad bowl, page 21. Spaghetti skillet meal. Page 28. Luncheon meat. Baked fruited pork loaf. Page 25. Breaded luncheon meat slices. Page 24. Chef's salad. Page 23. Luncheon meat chili. Page 22. Macaroni and cheese with luncheon meat. Page 27. Potted meat. Western pancakes. Page 21. Sausage, hominy and Vienna sausage au gratin, page 27. Sweet potato and sausage casserole, page 25. Tongue, chef's salad, page 23. Tongue supreme, page 28. Turkey, chicken noodle casserole, page 24. Spaghetti skillet meal, page 28. Fish. Crab meat. Crab meat and macaroni salad. Page 34. Seafood coquille. Page 32. Lobster. Lobster club sandwich. Page 33. Seafood coquille. Page 32. Salmon. Chilled salmon. Page 33. Creamed salmon deluxe. Page 34. Salmon bisque. Page 22. Sardines, broiled sardine sandwich, page 29. Sardines and noodles polonaise, page 32. Sardine and olive spread, page 32. Shrimp, shrimp rice casserole, page 29. Tuna fish, California seafood salad, page 31. Casserole of tuna fish and corn, page 34. Piquant tuna spread, page 29. Tuna curry casserole, page 28. Tuna vegetable pie, page 31. Fruits and desserts. Applesauce. Applesauce a la mode, page 35. Applesauce bread pudding, page 42. Applesauce cake, page 39. Sweet potato and sausage casserole. Page 25. Apricots. Apricot ice cream. Page 40. Fruit juice cocktails. Page 41. Cherries. Cherry citrus compote. Page 35. Old fashioned cherry shortcakes. Page 44. Cranberry. Nectar fruit juice cocktail. Page 35. Fruit cocktail. Fruit Cocktail Ambrosia, page 40. Fruit Cocktail Fritters, page 39. Fruit Nectar, Nectar Fruit Juice Cocktail, page 35. Grapefruit, Grapefruit Surprise Salad, page 44. Orange Juice, Orange Muffins, page 43. Peaches in Orange Sauce, page 37. Pear Cobbler, page 46. Peaches, Fruit Juice Cocktails, page
page 41. Peach Almond Ice Cream, page 40. Peaches in Orange Sauce, page 37. Pears, Baked Coconut Pear, page 46. Fruit Juice Cocktails, page 41. Pear Cobbler, page 46. Pear Mint Ice Cream, page 40. Pear Sundae Chocolate Mint Sauce, page 39. Pineapple. Baked Fruited Pork Loaf, page 25. Glazed Carrots and Pineapple Chunks, page 14. Nectar Fruit Juice Cocktail, page 35. Pineapple Cream Crunch Topping, page 41. Pineapple Meringue Cake, page 45. Pineapple Meringue Pie, page 43. Pineapple Sauce, page 45. Plums, Individual Purple Plum Puddings, page 37. Plum Sauce, page 37. Prunes, Baked Fruited Pork Loaf, page 25. Prune Souffle with Custard Sauce and Toasted Almonds, page 42. Pumpkin, Pumpkin Cake, page 36. Miscellaneous, Chocolate Syrup, Chocolate Refrigerator Cake, page 45. Pear Sunday Chocolate Mint Sauce, page 39. Coconut, Baked Coconut Pear, page 46. Fruit Cocktail Ambrosia, page 40. Coffee, Coffee Milkshake, page 40. Evaporated Milk, Pear Cobbler, page 46. Shrimp Rice Casserole, page 29. Nuts, Maple Nut Frosting, page 36. Spaghetti, Spaghetti Skillet Meal, page 28. End of Section 1 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods Read by Trish Rutter, San Diego, January 2nd, 2022Section 2 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This section is read by Matthew Soans. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by the American Can Company. Vegetables, Part 1. Savory vegetables. One number two can vegetable. Green beans, peas, spinach or asparagus, etc. Half a teaspoon of salt. Butter or margarine. Chopped chives or parsley. Drain liquid into a saucepan. Boil quickly to reduce amount to about half to third cup. Add the vegetable. Heat thoroughly. Add salt, butter or margarine and seasonings to suit taste. Garnish and serve. Four to five servings. Note, instead of reducing liquid by boiling, it may be saved for soups, sauces, gravies or vegetable cocktails. Do not throw it away as it contains valuable nutrients. Poached egg on spinach. One number two half can of spinach. Four eggs, poached. One recipe savoury sauce. Heat spinach, drain and season with salt, pepper and butter. For each serving, use about half a cup of hot spinach. Flatten top and arrange poached egg on each spinach mound. Serve with savoury sauce. Four servings. Beet relish salad. One number two can sliced beets. One tablespoon sugar. One tablespoon minced onion. One teaspoon salt. Dash of pepper. Two tablespoons salad oil. Quarter cup of vinegar. Six lettuce cups. Half cup cottage cheese. Drain beets, reserve half cup of liquor. Combine with sugar, onion, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar and beet liquor. Cover, marinate overnight in refrigerator. Arrange in lettuce cups. Top each serving with a mound of cottage cheese. Serve with French dressing. Six servings. Creamy baked beans. 
One one pound can baked beans in tomato sauce. Quarter cup sour cream. One tablespoon chili sauce or catsup. One teaspoon minced onion. Quarter cup grated cheddar cheese, one ounce. Combine all ingredients in a one quart casserole. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 minutes. Three to four servings. Asparagus on toast. One number two can asparagus spears. Four slices hot buttered toast. One recipe savory sauce. Heat asparagus and drain. Reserve liquor for soup, gravy or vegetable juice cocktail. Arrange spears on toast. Serve with savoury sauce. Four servings. Note, a thin slice of ham may be placed on the toast before arranging the asparagus, if desired. Savoury sauce. Two egg yolks. Two teaspoons finely chopped parsley. One teaspoon grated onion. One teaspoon sugar. Half teaspoon salt. Quarter teaspoon paprika. Two third cup milk. 2 teaspoons lemon juice. Beat egg yolks slightly in top of double boiler. Add parsley, onion, sugar, salt and paprika and blend. Gradually stir in milk. Place over boiling water. Keep water in bottom of double boiler below bottom of top section. Cook, stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Stir in lemon juice. Serve immediately. 2 third cup sauce. Glazed carrots and pineapple chunks. One number two can sliced carrots. Half cup pineapple chunks with half cup juice. One tablespoon cornstarch. Quarter teaspoon salt. One tablespoon butter. Drain carrots and pineapple. Reserve half cup carrot liquor and combine with half cup pineapple juice. Gradually stir into cornstarch and salt in a saucepan. Cook, stirring constantly, until the mixture thickens and clears. Add butter and stir until blended. Add carrots and pineapple. Combine carefully. Heat thoroughly. Four servings. Diced or shoestring carrots may be substituted. Corn chowder. Two cups diced raw potatoes. Half cup boiling water. Half teaspoon salt. One quart milk. Quarter pound salt pork, diced. Quarter cup finely chopped onion. One number two can whole kernel corn. Two quarter teaspoons of salt. One eighth teaspoon pepper. Cook potatoes in boiling salted water in covered three quart saucepan until almost done. Do not drain. Add milk to potatoes and heat to the boiling point. Brown salt pork in a skillet. Remove pork. Add onion to fat and saute three to five minutes. Add salt pork, onion and fat, corn and seasonings to potato milk mixture. Heat slowly to the boiling point. Eight servings. Lima bean skillet meal. Two strips bacon. Three tablespoons chopped onion. Two tablespoons chopped green pepper. One cup chopped celery. Half cup tomato juice. Quarter teaspoon salt, dash of black pepper, one tablespoon flour, one number two half can lima beans, two cups cooked rice. Dice bacon and saute. Add onion, green pepper, celery, and cook 10 to 12 minutes or until onion is yellow. Add tomato juice, salt, and pepper, stir in flour. When mixture is smooth and thickened, add lima beans and simmer five minutes. Serve on hot rice. Four servings. Green bean and onion salad. One number two can cut green beans, drained. One thinly sliced medium sized onion. Third cup sliced radishes. Quarter cup French dressing. Five lettuce cups. Marinate beans, onion and radishes in French dressing for several hours in refrigerator. Arrange in lettuce cups. Five servings. Corn a la king. Three strips bacon. Half cup coarsely chopped celery. One number two can cream style corn. Half cup coarsely chopped canned mushrooms. 
2 tablespoons cream or top milk, half teaspoon salt, eighth teaspoon paprika, six slices toast. Cut bacon strips in half and saute. Drain bacon, measuring two tablespoons fat into one half quart saucepan. Add celery and cook slowly 10 minutes. Add corn, mushrooms, cream or top milk, salt and paprika, heat thoroughly. Serve on toast with half strip bacon crumbled over each serving. Hot spiced green beans. Three slices bacon, three tablespoons bacon drippings, one tablespoon chopped onion, three tablespoons vinegar, quarter to half teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, one number two can cut green beans drained. Saute bacon in a skillet, remove and break into small pieces. Saute onion in drippings until tender. Add vinegar and seasonings and blend. Add bacon and green beans, mix together lightly and heat. Four servings. End of section two. This section was read by Matthew Soans. Section three of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This section is read by Matthew Soans. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by the American Can Company. Vegetables, part two. Peas, French style. One number two can peas. Two tablespoons butter or margarine. Quarter cup chopped onion. Two cups finely shredded lettuce. Half teaspoon salt. Drain peas, reserving liquor for soup, gravy or vegetable juice cocktails. Melt butter or margarine in a frying pan. Add onion and saute until soft and golden brown. Add peas. Cover and heat slowly over low heat until peas are hot, about five minutes. Remove from heat, add lettuce and salt and toss lightly. Serve immediately. Five servings. Corn and asparagus casserole. One number two can whole kernel corn. One number 300 can all green asparagus. Half cup milk. Two tablespoons butter or margarine. 2 tablespoons flour, quarter teaspoon celery salt, 1 tablespoon chopped parsley. Drain corn and asparagus. Combine vegetable liquors and measure half cup. Add milk. Melt butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add flour and blend. Gradually stir in liquid. Cook, stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Add celery salt. Spread corn over the bottom of a shallow 10 by 6 by 2 inch baking dish. Arrange asparagus over corn. Pour white sauce over vegetables and sprinkle with parsley. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 minutes. 6 to 8 servings. Broiled kidney bean sandwich. 1 number 2 can kidney beans. 1 tablespoon finely chopped onion, 2 tablespoons catsup, quarter teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, half teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, 3 hamburger buns split, 6 slices tomato, 1 medium sized, 3 strips bacon. Drain kidney beans and mash. Combine beans, onion, catsup, Worcestershire sauce, seasonings and heat thoroughly. Toast buns. Spread with bean mixture and top with a thin slice of tomato. Cut bacon strips in half and place one piece over each tomato slice. Broil slowly 10 minutes or until bacon is crisp. Six servings. Creamed mushrooms on toast. One eight ounce can mushroom buttons. Quarter cup butter or margarine. Two teaspoons finely chopped onion. Quarter cup flour. Milk, quarter teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, six slices toast. Drain mushrooms and reserve liquor. 
melt butter or margarine in a saucepan, add onion, and cook for one minute. Add flour and blend. Gradually stir in mushroom liquor and enough milk to make two cups liquid. Cook, stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Add seasonings and mushrooms. Heat and serve on toast. Six servings. Mushrooms in cheese sauce. Omit onion and Worcestershire sauce. When sauce is thickened, stir in half cup grated sharp cheddar cheese, seasonings and mushrooms. Heat and serve on toast. Creamed peas on deviled ham toast. One number two can peas. Milk. Quarter cup butter or margarine. Quarter cup flour. One teaspoon salt. Dash of pepper. Two hard cooked eggs sliced. One two quarter ounce can deviled ham. Six slices toast. Drain peas. Combine liquor with sufficient milk to make two cups liquid. Melt butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add flour and seasonings and stir until blended. Gradually stir in liquid. Cook, stirring constantly until mixture thickens. Carefully stir in peas and eggs. Spread deviled ham on toast. Pour creamed mixture over toast. Six servings. Spinach cheese casserole. Half pound processed cheddar cheese. Third cup milk. One number two and a half can spinach, well drained. One cup soft breadcrumbs, three strips bacon. Cut cheese in small pieces and place in top of a double boiler over boiling water and melt. Gradually stir in milk, continue stirring until sauce is smooth. Chop spinach and add to cheese sauce. Turn into a greased one quart casserole. Top with breadcrumbs, then bacon strips cut in half. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. Six servings. Sauerkraut with apples. Three tart cooking apples. One number two and a half can sauerkraut. Three tablespoons butter. Four to six tablespoons sugar. Peel and core apples, cut in eighths. Alternate layers of kraut and apples in a two and a half quart saucepan. Add water barely to cover. Bring to boiling point. Then reduce heat, cover and simmer until apples are very tender. 20 to 25 minutes. Add butter and sugar and blend. Cooking rapidly until almost all liquid has evaporated. Six servings. Tomatoes with herbs. One number two can tomatoes. One tablespoon butter. Two tablespoons flour or one tablespoon cornstarch, half teaspoon basil or marjoram, half teaspoon sugar, dash of salt, dash of pepper. Drain tomatoes. Melt butter in a saucepan, add flour or cornstarch and blend. Gradually stir in tomato juice. Cook, stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Add tomatoes, basil or marjoram, sugar, salt and pepper. Simmer five minutes, four to five servings. Peas Deluxe. One number two can peas, one cup sliced celery, quarter cup liquor drained from peas, two third cup canned sliced mushrooms, three tablespoons chopped pimiento, two tablespoons butter or margarine, quarter teaspoon salt, dash of pepper. Drain peas and reserve liquor. Cook celery in pea liquor until almost tender. Add other ingredients. Heat thoroughly. Six servings. Casserole of tomatoes and cabbage. One tablespoon butter. Two tablespoons flour. One number two can tomatoes. One tablespoon minced onion. One teaspoon sugar. One teaspoon salt. 8th teaspoon pepper, 4 cups finely shredded green cabbage, 1 cup half inch bread cubes, quarter cup grated cheddar cheese, 1 ounce. Melt butter in a saucepan, add flour and blend. Gradually add tomatoes, stirring until smooth. Add onion, sugar, salt and pepper. Cook, stirring constantly until mixture is smooth and thickened. 
place two cups of cabbage in the bottom of a one and a half quart casserole. Pour half the tomato mixture over cabbage, cover with remaining cabbage and pour over remaining tomato mixture. Cover and bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. Remove cover and top vegetables with bread cubes and sprinkle with cheese. Bake 15 minutes longer or until cheese melts and cubes are a golden brown. Five to six servings. Baked spiced sweet potatoes. One number two and a half cans sweet potatoes in syrup. Two teaspoons butter. One tablespoon brown sugar. Quarter teaspoon cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon salt. Drain sweet potatoes, reserving quarter cup syrup. Arrange potatoes in a shallow 8.5 by 4.5 by 2 inch baking dish and dot with butter. Combine brown sugar, cinnamon and salt and sprinkle over potatoes. Pour syrup over all. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. If a heavier glaze on the potatoes is desired, they may be basted several times during the baking period with the syrup in the pan. Five servings. Vegetable juice cocktails. Three quarter to one cup juice drained from either peas, beans or asparagus. Two cups canned tomato juice. Three to four sprigs of celery leaves. Half teaspoon salt. Dash of pepper. Eighth teaspoon minced onion. Two teaspoons lemon juice. Two drops Worcestershire sauce. Mix together vegetable juices. Add celery leaves. Cover tightly and chill for an hour. Remove celery leaves. Add remaining ingredients. Serve thoroughly chilled. Five servings. Note, if one cup of asparagus juice is used, mix with two and a half cups tomato juice. End of section three. This section was read by Matthew Soans. Section 4 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by American Can Company. Meat and Fish, Part 1. Western Pancakes. One five and a half ounce can potted meat, four eggs, one quarter cup milk, one tablespoon finely chopped onion, one tablespoon flour, two tablespoons bacon fat. Combine all ingredients except bacon fat or shortening in a bowl. Beat with a rotary beater until blended. Melt bacon fat in a frying pan. When fat is hot, drop mixture by tablespoonfuls into pan, spreading to form flat, round cakes. Brown on both sides. Four servings or 16 pancakes. Frankfurter Salad Bowl. One 12 ounce can Frankfurters drained. One number two can kidney beans drained. Three quarter cup sliced sour pickles. One half cup French dressing. One medium sized head lettuce. One half large onion thinly sliced. Slice Frankfurters and combine with kidney beans and pickles. Add French dressing and marinate for several hours in refrigerator. Break lettuce leaves in salad bowl. Arrange onion rings and frankfurter mixture on top of lettuce. Toss together lightly with fork and serve immediately. Six servings. Luncheon meat chili. One half cup chopped onion. One half garlic clove minced. Two tablespoons fat. One half cup chopped green pepper. One 12 ounce can luncheon meat coarsely chopped one number two can red kidney beans, one and one half cups canned tomatoes, one teaspoon chili powder, one half teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper. Saute onion and garlic in fat. Add remaining ingredients and simmer 30 minutes. Five servings. Hot corned beef hash sandwiches. One one pound can corned beef hash, one quarter cup sweet pickle relish, one quarter teaspoon salt, two teaspoons grated onion, 16 slices bread toasted and buttered, two medium-sized tomatoes sliced. Combine hash, pickle relish, salt, and onion in a frying pan. Heat thoroughly and spread on eight slices buttered toast. 
top with tomato and another slice of toast serve immediately eight sandwiches salmon bisque one seven and three quarter ounce canned salmon two tablespoons butter or margarine two tablespoons finely chopped celery two tablespoons grated carrot three tablespoons flour four cups milk two slices onion one bay leaf salt pepper one teaspoon finely chopped parsley drain salmon and remove skin and bones flake melt butter or margarine in a saucepan add celery and carrots and cook about three minutes then add flour and blend add milk slowly and cook stirring constantly until smooth and slightly thickened add salmon onion and bay leaf simmer over very low heat 15 minutes remove onion slices and bay leaf season to taste with salt and pepper garnish with chopped parsley if desired six servings curried chicken soup one ten and a half ounce can condensed cream of chicken soup two-thirds cup light cream or top milk one cup milk one teaspoon curry powder one quarter teaspoon salt chopped parsley combine all ingredients except parsley and blend well chill thoroughly or simmer two to three minutes and serve either cold or hot sprinkled with chopped parsley chef salad one medium-sized head lettuce one cup watercress one half 12 ounce can luncheon meat cut in strips one cup one six ounce can tongue cut in strips one half cup drained canned julienne beets one half cup sliced celery three hard cooked eggs cut in eighths one teaspoon grated onion one three ounce packaged cream cheese cut in one half inch cubes one half cup french dressing break lettuce into small pieces and place in salad bowl add all remaining ingredients except cream cheese and dressing just before serving add cheese and french dressing and toss six servings breaded luncheon meat slices one 12 ounce can luncheon meat one half cup dry bread crumbs one egg slightly beaten three tablespoons fat cut luncheon meat in eight slices dip slices of meat in bread crumbs then in egg and again in bread crumbs melt fat in a skillet fry meat in hot fat about five minutes or until golden brown on both sides four servings chicken noodle casserole one quarter cup butter or margarine one quarter cup flour one cup canned condensed chicken broth one cup top milk one quarter teaspoon salt dash of pepper one six ounce can boned chicken or turkey diced one four ounce can button mushrooms two cups cooked noodles or spaghetti one third cup chopped canned ripe olives one tablespoon grated onion one half cup slivered almonds one half cup dry bread crumbs one quarter cup grated cheddar cheese one ounce two tablespoons butter melted melt butter or margarine in a saucepan add flour and blend gradually stir in chicken broth and milk cook stirring constantly until smooth and thickened add seasonings combine sauce chicken or turkey mushrooms noodles or spaghetti olives onion and one quarter cup almonds turn into a greased one and a half quart casserole mix together bread crumbs cheese and butter and sprinkle over mixture in the casserole sprinkle the remaining one quarter cup almonds over bread crumbs bake in a hot oven 450 degrees fahrenheit 20 minutes or until top is nicely browned six generous servings sweet potato and sausage casserole one eight ounce can pork sausage links one number two can sweet potatoes in heavy syrup one number two can applesauce drain sausage remove excess fat allowing a small amount of fat to remain on each link grease a ten by six by one and three quarter inch baking dish with sausage fat drain sweet potatoes and cut in pieces to cover bottom of the baking dish completely cover sweet potatoes with applesauce arrange sausage links on top of the applesauce Bake in a hot oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes or until sausage browns. Six servings. Baked fruited pork loaf. One 12 ounce can luncheon meat or chopped pressed ham. Five slices canned pineapple. 20 whole cloves. Five teaspoons brown sugar. 10 pitted canned prunes. 
one quarter cup prune or pineapple juice cut luncheon meat or chopped pressed ham into five uniform slices and arrange cut side down on the bottom of a shallow 10 by 6 by 2 inch baking dish place a pineapple slice on top of each slice of meat insert cloves in pineapple place teaspoon of brown sugar and two prunes in center of each pineapple slice and add juice bake in a moderate oven 375 degrees fahrenheit 30 minutes five servings corned beef hash loaf one one pound can corned beef hash one tablespoon bacon fat melted one tablespoon ketchup or prepared mustard remove both ends from can of hash using one end push hash out in one piece cut hash in half lengthwise place the two pieces in a nine inch pie plate combine bacon fat and ketchup or mustard brush hash with this mixture bake in a moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit 20 to 25 minutes four servings end of section four section five of choice recipes and menus using canned foods this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by betty b choice recipes and menus using canned foods by american can company meat and fish part two macaroni and cheese with luncheon meat one half eight ounce package macaroni one half cup grated cheddar cheese two ounces one half teaspoon worcestershire sauce one drop tabasco sauce one half twelve ounce canned luncheon meat cut in one half inch cubes one and one half cups medium white sauce one tablespoon butter melted one third cup dry bread crumbs break macaroni into two inch lengths or use elbow macaroni cook according to package directions and drain Run hot water over macaroni and drain again. Add cheese, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco sauce, and luncheon meat to white sauce. Combine with macaroni. Turn into a greased one and one half quart casserole. Combine butter and bread crumbs. Sprinkle over macaroni. Bake in a hot oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 to 20 minutes, or until crumbs are browned and mixture bubbles around the edge. Six servings. Note. For 12 servings, double ingredients and turn into a three-quart casserole. Hominy and Vienna Sausage au Gratin One number two can hominy, one half cup milk, one half teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, one tablespoon butter, one half cup grated cheddar cheese, two ounces, one four ounce can Vienna sausage. Drain hominy, place in a shallow rectangular eight and one half by four and one half by two inch baking dish add milk season with salt and pepper dot with butter sprinkle with grated cheese arrange sausages over top and bake in a moderate oven 375 degrees fahrenheit about 30 minutes sprinkle with paprika if desired four servings variation substitute one number two can cream style corn for hominy omit milk and butter Combine seasonings and cheese with corn. Arrange sausages over top and bake as directed above. Tongue Supreme. One number one half flat can tongue. One tablespoon butter or margarine. One teaspoon minced onion. One teaspoon chopped capers. One tablespoon vinegar. One quarter teaspoon sugar. One half tablespoon flour. One half cup water. One tablespoon chili sauce. 1 quarter teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. Remove tongue from can. Reserve congealed liquor and cut in thin slices. Melt butter or margarine in saucepan. Add onion, capers, vinegar, and sugar. Simmer for five minutes. Add flour blended with water. Cook, stirring constantly until mixture thickens. Add chili sauce, salt, pepper, and congealed liquor. Serve very hot over thinly sliced tongue. If desired, tongue may be heated while sauce is being made. Three to four servings. Spaghetti skillet meal. One six ounce canned chicken or turkey or one 12 ounce canned frankfurters. One half cup sliced onion, one medium onion. One quarter cup chopped green pepper, 
one garlic clove minced one quarter cup sliced canned mushrooms optional two tablespoons fat one fifteen and one half ounce canned spaghetti in tomato sauce with cheese one half cup tomato juice one quarter teaspoon salt drain meat dice chicken or turkey or slice frankfurters saute onion green pepper garlic and mushrooms in fat five minutes add remaining ingredients and simmer for ten minutes stirring occasionally four servings tuna curry casserole one seven ounce canned tuna fish three cups cooked rice one ten and a half ounce can condensed cream of mushroom soup one quarter cup water one third cup sliced canned mushrooms one teaspoon curry powder drain and flake tuna fish combine with remaining ingredients and turn into a one and a half quart casserole bake in a moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit 30 minutes or until mixture bubbles around the edges five to six servings shrimp rice casserole one five ounce canned shrimp one cup cheddar cheese grated four ounces one cup evaporated milk one quarter teaspoon salt dash of black pepper two cups cooked rice two tablespoons butter or margarine melted one half cup soft bread crumbs drain and clean shrimp combine cheese and milk in a saucepan place over low heat stirring constantly until cheese melts and mixture is smooth add seasonings and carefully combine cheese sauce rice and shrimp turn into a greased one quart casserole top with buttered bread crumbs and bake in a moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit 30 minutes five to six servings broiled sardine sandwich one three and one quarter ounce canned sardines two english muffins split or two slices bread prepared mustard two to four thin slices processed cheddar cheese drained sardines toast english muffins lightly or toast bread on one side arrange sardines on toasted side of muffins or untoasted side of bread spread lightly with mustard and top each with a slice of cheese broil in preheated broiler about three inches from heat three minutes or until cheese begins to melt serve immediately with sliced tomatoes two servings piquant tuna spread one seven ounce canned tuna fish one half teaspoon salt one half teaspoon dry mustard few grains cayenne one teaspoon flour one teaspoon sugar one egg yolk one third cup milk one and one half tablespoons vinegar one and one half teaspoons butter drain tuna fish reserve one tablespoon oil mix together dry ingredients in top of double boiler add egg yolk and mix well stir in milk and slowly add vinegar then butter and fish oil cook over boiling water stirring constantly until mixture thickens remove from hot water and stir in finely flaked tuna fish this spread may be served hot or cold to serve hot toast bread on one side spread mixture on untoasted side place in a preheated broiler about two inches from heat for five minutes or until lightly browned to serve cold chill mixture thoroughly use as a spread for open sandwiches or canapes four to five open sandwiches california seafood salad aspic two tablespoons plain gelatin one half cup cold water one number two canned tomato juice one teaspoon chopped onion one half teaspoon salt one half teaspoon celery salt one teaspoon sugar two tablespoons vinegar salad one seven ounce canned tuna fish flaked one cup diced celery one cup diced avocado one half avocado one quarter teaspoon salt dash of white pepper one quarter cup salad dressing one tablespoon lemon juice grapefruit sections avocado slices one half avocado watercress aspic soften gelatin in cold water combine tomato juice onion salt celery salt sugar and vinegar in a saucepan bring to a boiling point add to gelatin stirring until gelatin is dissolved strain mixture and pour into a one quart ring mold chill until firm salad toss together lightly tuna fish celery avocado salt and pepper combine salad dressing and lemon juice add to tuna fish mixture and blend carefully unmold aspic and fill center of ring with tuna fish salad 
arrange garnish of grapefruit sections avocado slices and watercress around outer edge of aspic ring six servings for twelve servings increase gelatin to five tablespoons and double remaining ingredients pour aspic into a two quart ring mold end of section five Section 6 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry, Johnson City, Tennessee. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by American Can Company Meat and Fish Part 3 Tuna vegetable pie, one cup diced potatoes, half cup sliced celery, one tablespoon chopped onion, one seven ounce can tuna fish, one number two can peas, one pimento chopped, three quarter teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, two tablespoons flour. Pastry to cover eight inch baking dish. One third cup grated cheddar cheese. Cook potatoes, celery, and onion in one quarter cup boiling and salted water until almost tender. Drain, reserving liquid. Drain tuna fish and peas, reserving oil and liquid. Combine tuna fish, vegetables, and pimento and turn into a shallow, round, eight by two inch baking dish. Mix together salt and pepper and flour. Add to fish oil and stir to a smooth paste. Gradually stir in vegetable liquids. Pour over tuna fish and vegetables. Cover mixture with pastry. Sprinkle with cheese and bake in a moderately hot oven. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. Six servings. Seafood coquillas. One six ounce can lobster or crab meat. One four ounce can mushroom sliced. Quarter cup butter or margarine. Quarter cup flour. One and two thirds cups milk. One half teaspoon of salt. Dash of pepper. Two tablespoons chopped green pepper. Two tablespoons dry bread crumbs. Drain lobster or crab meat. Remove hard fiber and flake. Drain mushrooms. Reserve liquid. Melt butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add flour and blend. Add milk to mushroom liquid to make two cups liquid, about one and two-third cups milk. Gradually stir into butter flour mixture. Cook, stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Add salt, pepper, green pepper, and seafood. Turn into individual casseroles or one quart casserole. Top with breadcrumbs and bake in a moderate oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 minutes, four to five servings. Sardine and olive spread. One three and a quarter ounce can sardines in oil. Half cup chopped stuffed olives. Two tablespoons mayonnaise. One tablespoon chili sauce. Mash sardines with oil until blended. Combine with olives, mayonnaise, and chili sauce. Serve on crackers or small rounds of bread. One cup spread. Sardines and noodles polonaise. Half eight ounce package wide egg noodles. One quart boiling water. One teaspoon salt. One fifteen ounce can sardines in tomato sauce. Quarter cup fine dry bread crumbs. Two tablespoons butter or margarine. Cook noodles in rapidly boiling salted water nine minutes or as directed on the package. Drain noodles, rinse with cold water, and drain again. Place in the bottom of a greased one-quart casserole. 
Arrange sardines and sauce on top of noodles. Brown crumbs in butter or margarine. Sprinkle over fish. Bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, four servings. Lobster Club Sandwich Four slices of bacon, one six-ounce can of lobster, twelve slices of toast, butter, one large tomato sliced, lettuce, mayonnaise. Fry bacon until crisp and drain. Drain lobster. Remove any hard fiber and flake. Measure two tablespoons bacon fat into skillet and saute lobster until golden brown. Remove crust from toast and butter one side of the four slices. Cover with layer of lobster. Butter one side of four more slices of toast and place over lobster. Plain side down. On this piece of toast, place two half slices of bacon, then a slice of tomato. Cover with lettuce. Spread one side of remaining slices of toast with mayonnaise and place mayonnaise side down over lettuce. Insert toothpicks to hold sandwiches together and cut into four triangles. Four sandwiches. Chilled salmon. One eight ounce or one pound can of salmon. Chill salmon thoroughly. Drain and remove skin. Arrange salmon on platter or individual serving plates. Garnish with hard cooked eggs, cucumber wheels, radish roses, watercress, etc. Serve with cucumber chive or olive celery sauce three to six servings cucumber chive sauce combine quarter cup heavy cream whipped one quarter cup mayonnaise one teaspoon lemon juice quarter cup coarse chopped cucumber one and a half teaspoons chopped chives or onion and chill Approximately three quarter cup sauce. Olive celery sauce. Combine half cup sour cream, half cup mayonnaise, three tablespoons chopped canned ripe olives, quarter cup chopped celery, and chill. One and a quarter cup sauce. Casserole of tuna fish and corn. Three quarter cup canned drained whole kernel corn, one cup soft breadcrumbs, half teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, one eighth teaspoon powdered thyme, one teaspoon minced onion, quarter cup milk, two tablespoons butter or margarine melted, two tablespoons butter or margarine, two tablespoons flour, half teaspoon salt, one cup milk, one thirteen ounce can tuna fish drained. Toss together corn, breadcrumbs, half teaspoon salt, pepper, thyme, onion, quarter cup milk, and two tablespoons melted butter or margarine. Melt two tablespoons butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add flour and half teaspoon salt and blend. Gradually stir in one cup milk. Cook, stirring constantly until mixture is smooth and thickened. Flake tuna fish. Add to white sauce. Turn into a one quart casserole. Top with cornbread mixture. Bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 minutes, 5 servings. Creamed Salmon Deluxe one seven and three quarter ounce can salmon quarter cup butter or margarine quarter cup flour dash of pepper one and three quarter cups milk one tablespoon of chopped anchovies one cup drained canned peas one teaspoon chopped parsley 
five slices of toast. Drain salmon, reserving liquid. Remove skin and bones and flake. Melt butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add flour and pepper and stir until blended. Combine salmon liquid with milk to make about two cups liquid. Gradually stir liquid into butter flour mixture. Cook stirring constantly until smooth and thickened. Add salmon, anchovies, peas, and parsley. Heat thoroughly and serve on toast. Five servings. Crab meat and macaroni salad. One seven and a half ounce can of crab meat. Two cups cooked macaroni. Half eight ounce package. Two tablespoons chopped green pepper. One tablespoon chopped pimento. Quarter cup sliced celery. Two tablespoons sliced radishes. Two teaspoons grated onion. Quarter teaspoon of salt, dash of Tabasco sauce, half cup mayonnaise or salad dressing, six lettuce cups. Drain crab meat, remove hard fiber and flake. Add remaining ingredients except lettuce and toss together lightly. Serve in lettuce cups. Six servings. End of section six. Section 7 of Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by American Can Company. Fruits and Desserts, Part 1. Applesauce a la mode. One number two can applesauce chilled, one half pint vanilla ice cream, nutmeg, mace, or cinnamon. Divide applesauce in four serving dishes and top with a spoonful or scoop of ice cream. Sprinkle ice cream with preferred spice. Four servings. Cherry citrus compote. One number two and a half can royal and cherries, five tablespoons sugar, four thin slices orange, four thin slices lemon. Drain cherries and reserve juice. Add sugar, orange, and lemon slices to juice and simmer gently 15 minutes. Add cherries and chill. Eight servings. Nectar fruit juice cocktail. One 12 ounce can apricot, peach, or pear nectar chilled. One half cup grape juice, cranberry juice, or pineapple juice chilled. Shake chilled nectar thoroughly and combine with juice. Stir well to blend. Serve immediately. Three to four servings. Pumpkin cake. Three cups sifted cake flour, five teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon ground clove, one quarter teaspoon cardamom, one and one quarter cups canned pumpkin, one half cup milk, one half cup shortening, one and one half cup sugar, three eggs. Sift together dry ingredients. Combine pumpkin and milk. Cream shortening. Add sugar gradually and cream together until light and fluffy. Add eggs one at a time, beating thoroughly after each addition. Add dry ingredients alternately with pumpkin milk mixture, a small amount at a time. Beat until smooth after each addition. Turn into two greased and floured nine inch layer pans. Bake in a moderate oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 minutes or until done. Frost with maple nut frosting. Two nine inch layers. Maple nut frosting. One quarter cup butter or margarine. Two cups sifted confectioner's sugar. Three tablespoons hot water. One quarter teaspoon maple flavoring. One quarter cup chopped walnuts. Melt butter or margarine. Add to sugar and blend thoroughly. Gradually stir in hot water and beat until icing is of spreading consistency. Add flavoring and blend. Stir in nuts. Spread between layers and on top of pumpkin cake. Frosting for tops of two nine-inch layers. 
individual purple plum puddings one number two and a half can purple plums two cups sifted flour four teaspoons baking powder one half teaspoon salt two tablespoons sugar one quarter cup shortening one cup milk drain plums reserve juice cut fruit in half and remove pits sift together dry ingredients cut in shortening add milk all at once and stir only until all flour is moistened place about two tablespoons dough in the bottom of each of eight well-greased custard cups cover with a layer of fruit and then the remaining dough cover cups tightly with heavy wax paper or aluminum foil place in a steamer or large shallow pan containing one inch of boiling water cover and steam in a moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit 45 minutes serve warm with plum sauce eight individual puddings plum sauce two tablespoons cornstarch one quarter cup sugar one teaspoon cinnamon juice drained from one number two and a half can purple plums or prunes one teaspoon lemon juice one tablespoon butter combine cornstarch sugar and cinnamon in a saucepan slowly stir in fruit juice cook stirring constantly until mixture thickens and clears cook gently three minutes add lemon juice and butter stir until butter melts serve hot with individual purple plum puddings scant two cups sauce peaches in orange sauce one number two and a half can peach halves or slices one quarter cup brown sugar two teaspoons cornstarch dash of salt one half cup canned orange juice three whole cloves three whole allspice drain peaches reserve juice and measure one half cup combine sugar cornstarch and salt in a saucepan stir in one half cup peach juice and orange juice add spices bring to a boil stirring constantly add peaches and simmer five minutes cool serve with plain cream whipped cream or over baked custard tapioca or vanilla pudding or vanilla ice cream six to eight servings pear sundae with chocolate mint sauce one half to one cup canned chocolate syrup chilled two to four drops mint extract one number two and a half can pear halves drained and chilled one half to one pint vanilla ice cream combine chocolate syrup with mint extract place one or two pear halves cut side up in individual dessert dishes fill cavity of pear with ice cream pour chocolate mint syrup over ice cream four to eight servings fruit cocktail fritters one and one half cup sifted flour one and one half teaspoons baking powder one teaspoon salt one tablespoon sugar two eggs one half cup milk one cup well-drained canned fruit cocktail deep fat for frying sift together dry ingredients combine eggs and milk and beat well add to flour mixture all at once and stir only until all flour is moistened fold in fruit cocktail heat fat to 375 degrees fahrenheit drop batter from a tablespoon into fat and fry five minutes or until golden brown on all sides remove from fat and drain on absorbent paper serve hot with maple syrup or sprinkle with confectioner's sugar and serve as a hot bread five servings or fifteen fritters applesauce cake two and one half cup sifted flour one and one half cup sugar one teaspoon baking powder one teaspoon baking soda one and one quarter teaspoon salt one half teaspoon cinnamon one half teaspoon cloves one half cup shortening one and one half cups canned unsweetened applesauce two eggs unbeaten one cup chopped seedless raisins one cup chopped walnuts sift together into bowl flour sugar baking powder baking soda salt and spices add shortening and applesauce and beat two minutes either by hand or with an electric mixer at medium speed add eggs and beat two more minutes stir in raisins and nuts distributing evenly throughout the batter turn into a greased and floured five by nine inch loaf pan bake in a moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit one and one half hours or until done one five by nine inch loaf cake apricot ice cream one number two and a half can whole apricots 
one half to three quarter cup powdered sugar one cup heavy cream drain apricots reserve juice remove pits and force apricots through a sieve combine apricots juice and sugar stir until sugar is dissolved beat cream until stiff fold apricot mixture into cream turn into refrigerator trays and freeze about two hours at coldest temperature until almost solidly frozen remove from trays to a chilled bowl and beat with a chilled beater until smooth return to trays freeze until firm about three hours one and one quarter quarts variations peach almond ice cream substitute one number two and a half can peach halves four apricots reduce sugar to two tablespoons and add one quarter teaspoon almond extract to peach pulp proceed as above one and one quarter quarts pear mint ice cream substitute one number two and a half can pear halves for apricots omit sugar and add six to eight drops mint extract to pear pulp proceed as above serve with chocolate sauce one and one quarter quarts end of section seven section eight of choice recipes and menus using canned foods this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by American Can Company. Fruits and Desserts, Part 2. Coffee Milkshake. One cup cold milk, one half cup cold strong coffee, one tablespoon sugar, cinnamon. Combine milk, coffee, and sugar in a shaker or tightly covered jar and shake until well blended. Serve immediately. Frosted Coffee Milkshake. Add one quarter cup vanilla ice cream to the above ingredients and shake until well blended. Serve immediately with a dash of cinnamon. Mix one large or two medium sized drinks. Fruit Cocktail Ambrosia. One number two and a half can fruit cocktail, one quarter cup honey, one tablespoon lemon juice, two medium sized bananas, three quarter cup canned moist shredded coconut. Drain fruit cocktail, reserve half cup juice. Combine honey, lemon juice, and fruit juice. Slice bananas and arrange in the bottoms of six sherbet dishes. Pour combined juices over bananas. Top with fruit cocktail. Sprinkle with coconut. Chill thoroughly. Six servings. Fruit juice cocktails. One or one and one quarter cups juice drained from canned fruit. Peaches, pears, apricots, etc. One cup ginger ale. Two teaspoons lemon juice. Chill fruit juice and ginger ale thoroughly. When ready to serve, mix together, add lemon juice, and serve in chilled cocktail glasses. Garnish with lemon slices, mint, and cherries. Four servings. Pineapple cream with crunch topping. One and one half cups milk, one three ounce package vanilla pudding, one number one flat can sliced pineapple. Gradually add milk to vanilla pudding in saucepan. Cook over medium heat, stirring constantly until mixture thickens and boils. Cool slightly. Drain pineapple, reserve juice. Place one sliced pineapple in each of four individual serving dishes. Gradually add pineapple juice to pudding and stir until smooth. Pour over pineapple slices. This may be eaten warm or cold. Just before serving, sprinkle with crunch topping. Crunch topping. Two tablespoons butter, two tablespoons brown sugar, one half cup cornflakes, two tablespoons chopped nuts. Melt butter in a small saucepan. Add brown sugar and blend. Add cornflakes and nuts and stir until all ingredients are well distributed. Cool, sprinkle over top of pineapple cream. Four servings. Prune souffle with custard sauce and toasted almonds. Souffle, four egg whites, one quarter teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, one four and three quarter ounce can strained prunes. Sauce, one and one half cups milk, three tablespoons sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt, four egg yolks, one tablespoon flour, one fourth teaspoon almond extract, or one half teaspoon vanilla extract, two tablespoons chopped toasted almonds. Souffle, 
Beat egg whites until stiff. Add salt and sugar gradually and continue beating until very stiff. Fold in prunes lightly. Turn into an ungreased one and a half quart casserole. Place in a pan of hot water and bake in a slow oven 325 degrees Fahrenheit one hour or until a knife inserted in the center comes out clean or turn into the top of a well-greased double boiler. Cover and cook over simmering water one to one and one quarter hours or until done. Sauce. Combine milk, sugar, and salt in a saucepan. Scald. Beat egg yolks well. Add flour and blend. Slowly stir a small amount of the hot milk into egg yolks. Then add egg mixture to remainder of milk. Cook over low heat, stirring constantly until mixture coats spoon. Remove from heat. Cool. Add almond or vanilla extract and chill. When souffle is done, serve immediately with custard sauce. Sprinkle with chopped almonds. Four to five servings. Applesauce bread pudding. One number two can applesauce, one teaspoon lemon juice, one half cup seedless raisins, one tablespoon butter, four slices day old bread, three quarter teaspoon cinnamon, two tablespoons sugar. Combine applesauce, lemon juice, and raisins and place half of this mixture in the bottom of a greased one quart baking dish. Butter bread and cut three slices in small cubes and the remaining slice in four triangles. Place the bread cubes on top of the applesauce mixture. Mix together cinnamon and sugar and sprinkle half of this over the bread cubes. Top with remaining applesauce mixture and then with bread triangles, pushing them down slightly into applesauce mixture. Sprinkle the remaining cinnamon sugar mixture over the pudding. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. Allow to cool before serving. Sweetened whipped cream may be used as a topping if desired. Four to five servings. Orange muffins. One and one half cup sifted flour. Three teaspoons baking powder. One quarter teaspoon salt. One quarter cup shortening. One quarter cup sugar. Two eggs. One half cup canned unsweetened orange juice. Sift together flour, baking powder, and salt. Cream shortening. Add sugar gradually and cream together until light and fluffy. Add eggs and beat well. Add orange juice alternately with dry ingredients, a small amount at a time, beating after each addition until smooth. Bake in greased muffin pans in a hot oven, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 minutes. 12 medium-sized muffins. Pineapple meringue pie. One quarter cup cornstarch, three quarter cup sugar, one half teaspoon salt, three eggs separated, one number two can unsweetened pineapple juice, one tablespoon butter, one eight inch baked pie shell, six tablespoons sugar, dash of salt. Mix together cornstarch, three quarter cup sugar, and one half teaspoon salt in a saucepan. Add egg yolks and blend thoroughly. Gradually stir in pineapple juice. Cook over low heat, stirring constantly until mixture thickens. Add butter, cool. Turn into pastry shell. Top with a meringue prepared by beating egg whites with six tablespoons of sugar and salt. Bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, six minutes or until meringue browns. Makes one eight inch pie. Old fashioned cherry shortcakes. One number two can red sour pitted cherries packed in water. Note, cherries packed in heavy syrup may be substituted. Reduce sugar to one half cup. Three quarter cup sugar, one tablespoon cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon, two cups sifted flour, four teaspoons baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, one quarter cup shortening, one egg, milk, one half cup heavy cream, two teaspoons sugar. Drain cherries, reserve juice. Combine sugar, cornstarch, and cinnamon in a saucepan. Stir in cherry juice. Cook, stirring constantly until mixture thickens and clears. Add cherries and chill. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. Cut in shortening. Beat eggs slightly in a measuring cup and add enough milk to make three-quarter cup liquid. Combine with flour mixture to make a soft dough. Turn out on a lightly floured board and roll one half inch thick. Cut with a floured two and one half inch biscuit cutter. 
place on an ungreased cookie sheet and bake in a hot oven 450 degrees fahrenheit 12 to 15 minutes split biscuits butter and spoon cherry mixture over bottom half cover with top half and spoon more cherry mixture over this beat cream and gradually add two teaspoons sugar continue beating until stiff serve on top of shortcakes six individual shortcakes note two cups prepared biscuit mix may be substituted for flour baking powder salt and shortening add the two tablespoons sugar to biscuit mix add enough milk to egg to make two-thirds cup liquid proceed as above end of section eight section nine of choice recipes and menus using canned foods this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Choice Recipes and Menus Using Canned Foods by American Can Company. Fruits and Desserts, Part 3. Grapefruit Surprise Salad. One number two can grapefruit segments, one three ounce package orange or lemon flavored gelatin dessert, two tablespoons sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt, six to seven maraschino cherries, one half three ounce package cream cheese two tablespoons mayonnaise drain grapefruit segments reserving juice add sufficient water to juice to make two cups liquid heat to boiling point pour over gelatin dessert to which sugar and salt have been added and stir until dissolved chill until mixture begins to thicken cut cherries petal fashion by quartering at stem end and cutting almost to center Place one in the bottom of each individual mold, spreading out the petals. Soften cream cheese, add mayonnaise and blend. Roll into balls and place one in the center of each cherry. Line molds with grapefruit segments. Pour slightly thickened gelatin carefully over grapefruit and cheese. Chill until firm. Unmold and garnish with watercress and serve with fruit salad dressing. Six to seven individual molds chocolate refrigerator cake one half cup canned chocolate syrup three eggs separated one quarter teaspoon almond extract one cup heavy cream twelve lady fingers split or left over cake heat chocolate syrup over hot water remove from heat add egg yolks one at a time beating vigorously after each addition until mixture thickens slightly cool and add almond extract Beat one half cup cream and fold into chocolate mixture. Beat egg white stiff but not dry. Fold into mixture. Line a refrigerator tray first with wax paper, then lady fingers or cake. Pour half the chocolate mixture over the cake. Cover with another layer of cake, then remaining chocolate mixture and top with cake. Chill in freezing compartment three hours or until firm. Whip remaining one half cup cream and serve as a topping on cake slices six to eight servings pineapple meringue cake three quarter cup sifted cake flour three quarter teaspoon baking powder one eighth teaspoon salt two eggs one half cup sugar one quarter teaspoon grated lemon rind one teaspoon lemon juice one number two can crushed pineapple two egg whites dash of salt one quarter cup sugar sift together dry ingredients Beat eggs until light and lemon colored. Gradually add one half cup sugar to eggs, beating constantly. Add lemon rind and juice. Fold the dry ingredients gradually into egg mixture. Turn into a greased eight inch layer pan. Bake in a moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 to 30 minutes. Remove from pan and cool. Drain pineapple, reserve juice for sauce. Place cake on a baking sheet and spread crushed pineapple over the top. Prepare a meringue by beating egg whites with dash of salt and one quarter cup sugar. Cover top and sides of cake with meringue. Return to oven and bake in a moderately hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, six minutes, or until meringue is lightly browned. Serve warm, cut in wedges with pineapple sauce. Six servings. Pineapple sauce. Two tablespoons sugar, one tablespoon cornstarch, dash of salt, two egg yolks, one cup pineapple juice drained, 
from number two can crushed pineapple combine sugar cornstarch and salt in a saucepan stir in egg yolks and beat until smooth gradually stir in pineapple juice cook over medium heat stirring constantly until mixture thickens and clears serve with pineapple meringue cake mix one and one quarter cup sauce baked coconut pear one number two and a half can pear halves one tablespoon lemon juice three quarter cup canned moist shredded coconut drain pears reserve juice sprinkle pears with lemon juice and roll in coconut place cut side down on a greased cookie sheet or in a greased shallow oblong baking dish bake in a hot oven 425 degrees fahrenheit 10 minutes or until coconut browns serve warm with cinnamon sauce eight servings cinnamon sauce one tablespoon cornstarch one half teaspoon cinnamon juice drained from one number two and a half can pear halves one tablespoon butter combine cornstarch and cinnamon in a saucepan slowly stir in pear juice cook stirring constantly until mixture thickens and clears cook gently three minutes add butter and stir until melted serve warm or cold over baked coconut pears one and one half cup sauce pear cobbler one number two and a half can bartlett pear halves one third cup canned unsweetened orange juice one quarter cup brown sugar one tablespoon cornstarch few grains of salt one tablespoon sugar one cup prepared biscuit mix six tablespoons undiluted evaporated milk one half cup heavy cream whipped optional two tablespoons sugar drain pears and reserve two-thirds cup juice place pears in bottom of a shallow ten by six by one and three quarter inch baking dish cut side up combine fruit juices brown sugar cornstarch and salt and pour over pears place in a hot oven 425 degrees fahrenheit for five minutes combine sugar and biscuit mix and add evaporated milk to make a soft dough drop in six spoonfuls on top of pears bake 15 to 20 minutes longer at 425 degrees fahrenheit or until biscuits are browned if desired serve warm with heavy cream whipped with two tablespoons of sugar six servings note canned peach halves may be substituted for pears in this recipe the can opener the can opener should be regarded as permanent equipment not as a kitchen gadget the average home probably uses a can opener more frequently than any other piece of small equipment in the kitchen there are dozens of makes of can openers on the market ranging in price from 10 cents to several dollars some are made to be attached to the wall others are hand openers whatever type opener you prefer you should insist on good performance requirements for a good can opener one open the can easily two open either a round or oblong can three leave a smooth not a jagged edge the better openers roll back the edge for perfect smoothness four can be easily washed and dried five the cutting blades so placed that they may be sharpened steel knives in the kitchen need sharpening but you don't expect a cheap knife to stand as many sharpenings as one of fine steel the blades of a can opener are steel knives designed to do a special job of cutting through the metal of a can in addition to a regular can opener it is convenient to have an opener especially designed for opening cans of liquid such as fruit and vegetable juices end of section nine end of choice recipes and menus using canned foods by american can company